Hello, people of Twitch. I'm uh, getting ready to make some more stuff today, so should be fun. Um, so I have here some stretch cord. It's pretty cool. It's called Stretch Magic. This is 100 meters of 0.5 millimeter diameter cord. It's pretty fine. We're going to make uh, some really pretty stretch bracelets for my mom again. When I made those bra bracelets last week, or that bracelet last week for her, I had forgotten she wanted on stretch cord, so I'm like, well, I'll just remake it tonight on Twitch, so that's what I'm doing. Um, she also wanted some silver spacers, so I have an assortment to choose from. These are probably my favorite of the ones I picked out. They're twisted ovals. They're, they're pretty cool. Make sure they're... not sure if they're in focus or not, but... So we're going to put this on some stretch cord. I typically just leave it on the on the spool when I'm doing these. That way it won't fall off the end. Um, after we're done, we're going to tie a knot to make it secure and then glue it. So, so that should be good. So we're going to start with some silver beads right here. Do a twisted oval. Regular oval. We're going to see how this pattern looks after we do a couple beads. Alright. Twisted oval. Regular oval. Hmm. That doesn't look too bad. It's very shiny. Being silver plated beads. So these are actually silver plated metal beads. I picked them up at Michael's. They are pretty awesome. I like them a lot. So just keep doing this pattern for a while. I know I mentioned last week that my mom has really fine wrists. Um, so this is not going to take very long and we'll get on to some other projects after this. So. I may have overbought on the silver beads. Oops. I may have overbought on the silver beads, but I'll use them for other projects, so it's not a big deal. Getting a little distracted talking to you guys. There we go. Let's see. Maybe a little bit more. Then we'll string the pearls on. There. So the good news with, with doing it my way with the stretchy cord um, and keeping it on the spool, if it's not the size you want when you cut off the end, you can secure this end using like hemostats. Um, they're really cool. They latch together. And then you can add more beads to this end while this end is secured. So the beads don't go flying. Or you can just be really, really careful not to move that end, but I'd rather secure it and be on the safe side than lose a bunch of beads. I've done it before. Hence the hemostats. So Now because this uh, cord is so fine, it's going through these pearls pretty well. It's not getting caught up on the drill holes. So yeah, it looks pretty good. And we'll start doing this pattern on the other side. Get this all strung up. Like I said before, this is like my zen. 
so it's very meditative for me. It's I used to spend an awful lot of time making stuff and talking on the phone with my bestie, so. I still talk to her an awful lot. But I can't do it while I'm doing this, so that would be strange. Getting stuff made. Let's see how far are we now. Just line these up together. See how far, much longer we have to go. One oval and one twisted oval, and then I'm going to measure it. So, see how long it is. It's probably not quite long enough, but we'll see. There we go. Push that together. Break out my tailor's tape here. Well, that's almost about right. We're gonna add a couple more of like one more bead to each side, I think. So, and just a regular oval on this side and a regular oval on the other side. I'll put it in a little over six inches to account for the width of the beads. I do have a handy dandy uh, measuring tool for bracelets. Let's see if I can find it. Not entirely sure where I put it. Perhaps I'll find it another day. So, but as you can see, both sides are cut now. Have plenty of of the stretch magic to work with to get it all knotted up. The name of this knot escapes me at the moment. Surgeon's knot, sailor's knot, I don't know. It's not. Not very difficult to do. I don't think. Oh! My significant other found it for me. That's great. Now we can measure this sucker. Alright. So this is an easy bracelet mini. mini. I bought it off of Amazon. And it allows you to take your bracelets and size them really well. So as you can see it goes by fourth of an inch. Or here it's measured in centimeters. For standard bracelet sizes. What you have to do is slip it on the top. And mine is between six inches and six and one fourth. So that should be perfect for my mom. So I guessed that really well without the bracelet sizer, but I've had a lot of practice, so that's pretty cool. So bracelet sizer. There you go. It's knotted pretty well. It's gonna So then after that, so that's all taken care of. I have in my little cup here, a little Hello Kitty cup. Um, some GS Hypo Cement. You can get this from a variety of places. I believe I bought this tube from Michaels. Uh, it's just really fine uh, pinpoint precision for jewelry, beading, hobbies, watch crystals, optics, industrial applications, etc. So, very good glue. Um, unfortunately, it likes to, these caps like to stick together. And as you can see, it's got some glue around the tip here. There we go. 
So you just throw away this extra glue. It's just, it's solid now. I talked to, as you can see, it's already starting to beat off the end. So I grabbed a Kleenex earlier and I'm just going to wipe that, that glue off the end. Take this glue, find my knot, and just glue the knot. Really fine, spin it around a little. And now we're going to let that sit for 24 hours to dry. So it takes 24 hours to cure, I think. Slip that back on there. There. Put that back in there. Set that aside. So that's all finished. Mom's, ear, Mom's uh, bracelet is done. So it's very pretty. I think she'll like it. So all sorts of sparkly. I typically hang bracelets off my hot light so they can just dry without sticking to anything. There. That's good. So now I've got some pearls left on the beading mat. I think I should make her a pair of earrings too. I did make her a pair of earrings last week, but they had the black beads on them, and I'd rather it match with this really pretty silver beads, so we'll make her another pair of earrings. Just cut off the extra. We only need two pearls. Those are pretty well matched. Set this aside for now. And I think we're going to use some of these twisted ovals. Maybe with some regular ovals on top. We'll see. And grab some three inch long head pins. These are nickel free. Um, I bought these from Michaels too. Probably in like a pack of 60 or something like that. So it's enough to make 30 pairs of earrings. Or lots of little dangles. So that's that's fun to do this. I think when I do my stream this Friday, uh, I'll be making working on Christmas cards. So you can work on Christmas cards and what what have you. So that should be a lot of fun. It's. Hopefully it won't get too repetitive. You basically just take uh, your cards and uh, what I use is rubber cement and I rubber cement the cards to the paper I'm going to use as a background and then I take other elements and just layer them on top of that. So it's, it's fun. I'll, ch I'll be, be sure to change the description of the channel for that. So people aren't misled thinking it's jewelry making again. No, it'll be probably card making and stamping next week or this Friday. So I'm pretty excited about that. I thought about doing that today, but I have several other projects to work on. So several other projects. I have my bent nose pliers here. Let's see if I can't get this to Like I said before, this would probably be easier if I used my round nose pliers and held it in place. Let me give that a whirl. Oh yeah. That's better. Go on like that. There we go. So that's the. So that's that. Now she wanted a very short chain. So I think I'm only going to use three links here. Grab this. 
because these are already fairly long. So, but I don't think she's gonna not want chain. Hmm, decisions. Well, we'll try it. If she doesn't like it, we'll just take the chain off. that around. There's that. Take that link off. Probably can't get one that small shut again. At least not well. I can't do this a little bit closer underneath the camera. I don't think kitties are arguing. Oh, I will be right back. Yep, all I need to do is get up and the kitties stop. <laughs> Uh, that's kind of funny. Like, uh oh, mom's coming. And they weren't really arguing. That was Alice and her son. I call them the twins because they love each other so much and they snuggle like crazy. But Meow wanted an Alice's box <laughs> and Alice wasn't having it today. So. Not really arguing per se, just Alice see wanting a little bit of her own space, I think. Here's that. Let's see if I can't find a dainty jump ring though. Here we go. Dainty jump ring. I believe these are six millimeter jump rings. They're a little soft, which is good for earrings. The earrings don't get a lot of hardware and tear on them, so it doesn't hurt anything for these to be a little easier to bend. Put that right there. String on the chain. So if you can hear a mild crackling in the background, that is a candle. Um, it's got a wood wick. It smells great. And it's from Party Light. So if you've never heard of Party Light before, they're pretty cool. Uh, you can, you can uh, Google them if you want more information. So, but they're my favorite candles. Just thought I'd explain that if you can hear it. Grab a couple ear wires from Fire Mountain Gems. So I'm sure you've noticed I get my supplies from all over the place. Um, anywhere that has like like, I don't sacrifice quality, but I like getting a good deal because otherwise the jewelry gets really expensive. And sometimes I use things in such large quantity that it just makes sense to, you know, buy them in larger quantities too. So Fire Mountain Gems offers, like, bulk deals on especially findings, I think. Um, some of their beads they also offer bulk discounts on. But... Yeah, so there's that. There, yeah, nice pair of earrings. I'll see if I can't get these a little bit closer to the camera. So you can get, get a better look. There, see? There, yeah, okay. Yeah, so that's the earrings that go along with the bracelet. 
That's got to sit for a while. But it's very pretty. Kind of dainty. Oh, this one did not get twisted all the way in. See? Didn't quite get twisted all the way in. Oh, that's better. Yep, that's much better. Don't want that to get caught up in my mom's hair, so. This one didn't either. Oh my goodness. There we go. Fix those. Yeah, you want to make sure these are these little wires are tucked in so they don't scratch or get caught up in hair or sweaters or you know, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So so that's good. We caught that and fix it. So that's no problem. Set those right there for now. I'm gonna put this chain back, get it off the bean mat. Throw away these little bits of chain. I tried um, using wire cutters to cut that chain, but it did not cut well. So that's why I opened up the links instead. I think we're going to make some stretchy bracelets now using these bells. I'm making, getting ready for yet another show, two shows in December. And yeah, these jingle. <laughs> And it's uh, one of the shows is going to have uh, Santa there. So, and lots of kids. So, I wanted to make some neat jewelry for uh, kids to be able to get and wear. And um, my significant other's mom suggested jingle bells. So, we got some of those. Might as well just pour these all over the bead mat. But as you can see, they're red, gold, and green in a variety of sizes. Variety. I don't know how well this is going to translate to uh, being on camera because those jingle bells might get a little loud, but we'll see. So I'm using a different type of cord for these. This is a little bit thicker. It's uh, latex-free, no fray, knots easily, stretchy bead Bead, stretchy bead cord. It's called power cord and it's a little bit thicker. See 0.8 millimeters. So a little bit, hopefully it'll hold up a little bit better with kids stretching on it and pulling on it and stuff. So one way to find out. Um, and this came in 25 meters. I'm sure I could have gotten it in a spool like this stuff, but I wanted to try it out first. So 25 meters, try it out. I believe I got this from Fire Mountain Gems too. So, so we're going to want to make a pattern, I think. Or we could just go willy-nilly with these. But I pulled out some nice plastic beads I have. So this is just some like a clear plastic with an Aurora Borealis finish. It's got a rainbow finish on it. Um, I'll take it out of the bag so you can see it a little bit better. See, got kind of a rainbow finish to them. Very pretty. And then I also pulled out some black plastic beads, and these are just faceted black plastic, acrylic, you know. So. I really like these, but these may be a little bit too big as spacers. We'll see. I'll probably do some with both. And then I also have some metallicized plastic beads. I believe these are, you know, they got, they're like a, a spacer. So I might use some of those too. So that's pretty cool. Let's see here. Spread these out a little bit more. Let's see. Just kind of laying out a quick design along the bottom. These do not need to be very big. 
because they're for children. So I think three, be three beads along the top. Grab some plastic beads. And then just fill it in with some of the small ones around and then oh, that's too small. Why don't I use how about a red one? Yeah, and then fill in the rest of it with like these plastic beads. So that sounds like a good pretty good plan. Or I can just go every other with some other bells the small bells so oh, sorry knocking into the camera a little bit so I'd say these have to be like four maybe five inches in diameter for them to fit a child there and these may be a little tricky to string because underneath the uh, bale here is an empty hole so they ring a little bit better so they jingle a little bit better I'm not having too hard of a time but I can see that being a little tricky String that in. Sorry, it's probably a little hard to see what I'm doing with all these bells blocking your vision. Oh, there go some bells. It's okay. They're staying on the table. <laughs> if they were falling off the table, I might try to fix that, but here more red bells. Let's see. Let's get that handy dandy measuring. Like I said, these are not going to take long. I just need to figure out how many beads should go on these before I start stringing those big beads on. So, about halfway there. See? That means I should definitely start stringing these big beads on. Or larger beads on. Bells. You guys know what I mean. Well, this thing is definitely going to block your view. String on a green. Red. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. Not off camera yet. That one went in. There we go. Do you really want to use little black beads? Do a gold one. So yeah, this power cord should hold up for kids pretty well. It's nice and a good thick cord. So and then I'm gonna do one tiny one. Now I'm gonna measure this bracelet against this
That may be too small. We'll find out. Oh. Here it goes. Oh my goodness. Yeah, those big bells didn't take up nearly as much room as I thought. Probably going to need another three of these small bells on there. Make it the right size, give or take a little, maybe four. There we go. Get it all untangled. So, I think the black looks particularly nice with these bells, though. It really makes the bell colors pop. So do the first one, one, two, Take a look at this real quick. Now it's closer to six inches, I think. So maybe three was too many. Let's try it though. Oh, maybe not. Oh, well, that is about five inches. Well, that's perfect. These bells are... Oh, that's Piglet talking. I talked about my cats a little bit last week. They're very sweet. Some of the sweetest cats I know. They may be a little biased, but... They're good cats. I'm just doing that knot again, making sure it all stays. But I won't glue these till the very end because I'm going to be making a ton of them. I have two bags of these bells, and this is the first one that we're getting into. So that's kind of a pain. Untwist those. Not got way too twisted. Do that over. No, it's still way too twisted. Yeah, that's good. Sometimes these knots do not go right. Or easy. You can see this is just kind of a mess. Let's see here. Is that better? Yeah, but there's a gap. I wonder if I can fix that. I might have to cut this one off and redo it if I can't get this knot undone. Adventures and knotting here. There we go.
Let's do this one. No, I didn't do it again. This, this, uh, these tails are a little too long to be knotting with. I think I'm going to cut them down. So we'll use this cord and this cord to make other bracelets. That should make it a little bit easier. So we do that twice. Tighten that up. And we do this twice on the other side. Oh yeah, that's much better. Yep. There's that. Got some nice big jingle bells on the front. And a bunch of tiny jingle bells and it makes a nice nice sound, so so that's all good. We'll do that one in a little bit. Get this cord out of the way. So since I have two of these, I'm going to set one right here. And I'm going to use my hemostats to uh, secure one of the ends. Just secure this very end. And I'm pretty sure this will be long enough to do another bracelet with. I'll do gold this time. Might as well pull out a pile of these little, these little beads. Somehow they had fur in them, I don't know why. I have another gold bell. Oh, that's really hard to see what I'm doing. So it says these come in packages of 300 bells. That's pretty cool. So on this other one I made, I'm going to just do a quick count. So it's one, two, three, four. Four of the small bells, then a medium sized bell, and then three big ones. And then it goes back to a medium size and then four small ones. So we're going to do that again. Oh man, I hope I have enough cord. Okay, so medium sized bell. That looks like a medium sized bell. I think. I don't know how many sizes of the bells these are, but they're. It's kind of crazy. There's a medium, now we'll do three large ones. Do all green large bells this time. And then we'll have to find a medium bell again. Let's see here. Well, that's a large bell. I don't know. Oh. I'm going to put a little black bead there. All different sizes of bells. Well, hmm. Are those the same size? 
They look like it. Hmm. Let's see here. Grab some of these small gold bells again, do four of these. Almost done with this bracelet too. Must make bracelets. See there's four of those. This one is considerably bigger but I don't think it'll really matter. Have to move these down a little. Try to have some tail to work with. Oh my goodness. And my other pair of hands back to you. I'll just ship these down a little. I have a little bit of room on both ends to tie a knot. We'll see how well this goes. I didn't leave myself very much room. I left myself too much room before, now I'm not leaving myself enough. Got a knot in there. It's a good one. I'll glue it when we're all done though. Hey, yeah, what do you think? Jingles just like the other one. Slightly different colors. Leave those out. Let's see. There's another. We'll be smart about it this time. Clip that ahead of time with leaving enough room on the end. So let's see, what should we do this time? We haven't done a green one yet. Let's do a green one. I'm going to be making these for a while. It's the show I'm doing um, that has Santa is December 1st or 2nd, I think. So. I'll have plenty of time to make more of these uh, bracelets. I won't make them all tonight. That would probably be pretty boring. I'm going to make some other Christmas themed jewelry though. Christmas themed. I still have some of those charms left that I was using last week and I still have uh, Some more enameled snowflakes. Here, I'll show you. Enameled snowflakes. They're awfully pretty. So, I'm gonna find a medium sized bead. I think we're gonna do medium sized gold. Yeah, because it's bigger than the green beads green bells. There's that. That looks pretty nice so far. See? 
goes up and down. Alright, now for some large beads. We'll do green large beads, I think. Grab one of these beads. Another green one. Yeah, so I'll gladly take requests for doing custom jewelry on here. Um, I think that would be an awful lot of fun. You can provide real, real time input. Um, so, if anybody's interested in that, just let me know. Grab one of these. There. I'm almost done with this one too. Yeah. I need some more of these bells flying off the mat. Maybe I'll make. I don't know how many more I want to make of these. Today. I think four is a pretty good start. Or three. Four if you include mom's new bracelet. There's one green bell. I don't know if you can hear piano in the background at all, but that's my mom playing. She's a pianist. It's pretty rad. She's a very good, very good piano player. She gives lessons to All ages. Alright, so that one's all finished. Almost. Just gotta tie it off. And remember, these are for kids, so I'm going to make them awfully tiny. I could make some of these for adults, too, but I don't, I don't know how well they'll sell for adults. Guess what I'm going to find out. One way to find out. There she is. One's mostly green with some gold accents. Alright, why don't we clean up some of these bells. It'll be noisy, so I may turn the mic off for that. So, but... I will be right back.
All right, guys, I cleaned up the bell mess. So, cleaned up all the bells, I believe. No, nope, there's none underneath there either. So, so I'm just going to glue these real quick. Um, grabbing my GS Hypo Cement. Like so. So, grab some of this. Just dab it on there and then flip it over. I like it because it has a fine tip applicator. And it's easy it's easy to get in these small spaces. Just don't glue yourself to your jewelry. Oh, that's Piglet talking. One of these days I'll bring him in for a cameo appearance. That'll be cute. It can be Piglet Makes Jewelry. Get those all glued. Put this back in here. There. I'm going to set these over to the side while they dry. While they dry. And then we're going to make a pair of earrings, I believe. Make some really pretty Christmas earrings. They have some enamel snowflakes left. I picked these up from Hobby Lobby. Equal opportunity. Uh, picking up supplies from places. So one of these days I'll break out um, some morganite. I have. I already made one necklace with the morganite. It's it's beautiful. And then. I also have some sapphires that are just gorgeous, but they're awfully tiny. So, I think we'll use some of these silver beads in the earrings. Grab a couple ear hooks. Oh, these little pieces of paper. This is anti tarnish paper. So, keep these. Silver plated hooks looking shiny and new. So, I don't believe it's toxic in any way. So, just kind of handy to have those in there. Fire Mountain Gems puts those in there uh, without you having to ask on most stuff. So, get this jewelry cord out of the way. Might as well grab. So these are eye pins. Let's see if I can't grab a couple long ones. Eye pins. And they're called eye pins because they have a little circle at the end. Head pins have a flat surface on the end. And ball pins, which I haven't brought out yet, have little balls. Little metal balls on the end. They're, they're all pretty cool. So you can get all sorts of neat head pins. There's lamp work head pins and uh, enameled head pins and just neat stuff. So we're going to do with these snowflakes. I think we might do red this time. I think that would look awfully nice. Red bead here and a red bead there. Piglet is desperately wanting to say hi. I really like these beads. These are faceted metal beads. They just have rondelles, little wheels. See, they just look so nice and pretty. Yeah. Let 
You know, my only question is if I should put another one on the bottom here. I don't think I will. I think that may not look quite right. I try to do things in odd numbers because it looks a little more. See? Oh, dropping stuff. See? Just flows a little bit better, but. I should do this the opposite way. I found out yesterday that some of my earrings weren't hanging right, and it's because these loops are in the same direction. So if I do all three in the same direction, this little snowflake's going to hang this way instead of this way, instead of forward. So. Anyway, they just weren't hanging right, so I'm going to fix that this time. I was able to fix them yesterday, too, or I mean Saturday, too. Man, I can't believe it's Monday already. Making a little loop. the wire cutters. So yeah, after um, my stream is done, I'll be uploading the, the whole video to YouTube. And there hopefully aren't any interruptions or skips in the video on YouTube. At least I don't, I don't think there are. So um, if you can't watch here, if it's skipping too bad, you can always catch up with it on on YouTube, so so now we're gonna take these bottom put this on here like so I need this one One on there like so. Close up that ring. That O. Oh, I did that upside down. Of course I did. It's okay. Easy fix. Maybe. Man, if that had fallen on the floor, it would have been gone forever. My floor eats beads. There. There's that. Let's see if we can't get this to orient right. There. See? Do that like so. Now that should be just about perfect. like so. Close that up. Now we have another really cool pair of earrings. Okay. Do do do. Put them here by those earrings. So I have quite a few Christmas charms left. Um, not entirely sure what I'm going to do with them. I also have some of these. See, those are pairs. And then I have some cool beads here left. These are snowman 
with snowflakes on the backs. So I suppose we could make some more earrings. Oh, I found a stray bell. That right there. It would also be really cool to turn some of these bells into earrings. But we'll have to see. I'm running out of these little trays. Yeah. Oh, we can throw these little tails away. This is just scrap metal. If it was sterling, you could recycle it, but that's just base metal. I don't think it's really worth recycling. We recycle almost everything, but the ends of uh, of wire like that just aren't that easy to deal with, unfortunately. So let's see, we got those little guys, and we can mix them with some silver beads, maybe. Or should we do a silver bead on the bottom, and a red bead on top, or vice versa? I think it's vice versa. Yeah, that's pretty cute. Okay, so I think we'll just do these guys on head pins and not super dangly. We may need to add a spacer bead at the bottom because the head pins tend to go through large holes. So, these head pins aren't very big. We'll just grab some. That's a spacer. Where did I put those? Well, here we are. Grab some two millimeter beads. Grab some two millimeter beads here. And just string those onto the wire. That should keep the these red pizzazzy type beads from pizzazz. These sparkly red beads from falling off. So, yep. For sure, we would have needed them to keep the snowman from falling off. So. See how these silver beads look on there? I do not know how I like those silver beads on there. That may be not a good idea. Those are what I've got so far. Hmm. Blue won't really work. I'll try some of these bicones. Not really fond of that overall design, to be honest. Let's try this. Try this instead. I have a couple of these silver means. We'll put those on top. Well, that looks a little bit better. I wish I had a little hat to put up there. A little Santa hat or something, but... Now you can get Lampwork Santa hat beads. So... Or little black top hat beads, I think. I'm not sure where, but I'm pretty sure they're out there. You can probably also have them custom made. So, from a lamp or a glass artist, they may or may not get a kick out of doing something like that. I don't know. I'm really sorry if the stream is a little twitchy. We've been having some 
continuity issues with keeping the stream going flowing real well. So hopefully we'll get that fixed sooner rather than later, but for now, uh, to see the whole video you just need to go to YouTube. And it's youtube.com slash user slash zenithjade. Or just YouTube dot com slash zenithjade I think takes you to the exact same spot. So Yeah, it's pretty cool. I believe it's also linked in my bio. So I have a I don't know if I have a Katie is my profile picture there or not. It might be a scenic view, but I think it's a kitty wearing a shark shark, shark suit. Kitty wearing a shark suit. So Let's see here. Just get that all tucked in right. Sorry, I might have been off camera for part of that. I think I've mentioned before that I'm kind of used to working closer to my body. The, the camera is a little pushed out a little bit farther than I'm used to working distance wise. So, well, see, those are pretty cute. Little dangles. Little snowman dangles. I'm gonna put them on ear hooks. This is up. Just grabbed a couple pairs, I think. Oh, five ear hooks. Oops. It's okay. We'll get it sorted. See, so, you now these have. Oh. Open these up, close them again. Spin that around so it's facing the right way. There. There's one. Open this up away from myself. Put that on there. The angle on the ear wire. Spin this so it's facing the right way. There. I'll show you these earrings. They're not quite as sparkly as my other ones, but that's okay. Not everybody does sparkly. See? Snowman. So that's all good. I'm going to put this extra ear hook away so I don't lose it or forget to put it away later. So now we have one snowman and one snowflake left. One of each of those left and I might turn them into keychains. I also have one of each of these charms left. I've got a stocking, mittens, and a Christmas tree. Don't mind the glass label. It's these are metal. Um, I reuse these little plastic baggies as much as I can. They're very handy to have, and I have a storage system that I hang these up on, so so they get all sorted. All right, we can put these back in there. Take this bell out. Don't want to put it in with the red beads. I do, however, have lots of pairs of these charms left. Well, quite a few. I think I have two pairs of pine cones, some candy canes, 
some Christmas stockings and some mittens. So those ought to be fun to play with. I know it's not Halloween yet, and I know a lot of people don't like Christmas stuff before Halloween, but I have to get started making this stuff ahead of time because my shows in the fall, uh, people start buying wintry stuff, like wintry jewelry and what have you. So, I agree there probably shouldn't be any Christmas music before Halloween playing anywhere, uh, but... As far as this stuff goes, I gotta get working on it ahead of time, otherwise it won't get done in time. So grab some eye pens. I think we're gonna do these lovely dark green sparkly beads with these pine cones. So we'll just bend this wire to make a loop. Bend this wire to make another loop. Now these eye pins are very short. I meant to get some three inch eye pins for Michaels and I keep forgetting. So these aren't going to have a lot of embellishments aside from just the bead they come with or that I put on them. I might layer elements a little bit more if they were oops, a little bit longer. There. So why don't we write pine cones? Now the cool thing about these pine cones is that they're totally three-dimensional. Open that up a little bit more. So it doesn't really matter which way they face. Because they're the same on all sides. Okay. Okay. Three-dimensional. Do however have to fix this wrap I did. There. So let's do this loop. We got a pine cone. Yeah. Now those are super cute. Simple but cute. Now these were the ends I worked with, so I'm just going to, instead of opening the ear wire, I'm just going to string these on. Dropping all sorts of stuff today. I'm trying to give you guys a slightly better angle to see what I'm doing, but it's kind of difficult when you're working with such small things. That's why I left it up to show it to you when I'm done. So typically with these loops you always want to open them up away from you. You can also open them towards you, but never like this. Because <clears throat> it compromises the wire, strength of the wire. I'll show you those in just one second. Get rid of the little Get these all arranged. Let's see. They're yeah, they're pretty cute. Set those aside right there. Oh man, I'm like chopping at the bit to make Christmas cards. So 
I think that'll be a lot of fun. Not sure how well it'll translate to on camera, but we'll we'll find out. So, and I can't even promise I can't even promise that I'll actually do it on camera because it takes up so much room, and like this whole area is just beads. <laughs> So I'd have to do some serious rearranging to get that done. So we'll see. For sure I'll show you some finished cards. Um, just can't promise that I'll do the making on online. So let's see here. Maybe we should do some more candy canes. I believe we did some candy canes with the red beads already. So with these, the sparkly reds. Maybe we can do some with the silver beads instead. Silver beads? With the candy canes? How do you think that'll look? Pretty good? I think it'll look okay. After I get through this uh, holiday season of making holiday stuff, um, hopefully I'll be able to show you how I do other beaded jewelry and maybe show you some weaving and uh, crocheted wire. That would be fun. So, stuff to look forward to. around there oh piglet's talking again I don't know if you can hear him real well or not but oh I can hear a jingle ball in the in the background piglet's got a jingle ball he's playing with He sounds right proud of himself, doesn't he? Right proud of himself. Yep. So, now we're going to put these candy canes on, I think. the candy cane on here. Do the same thing with this one. Got those put together. We got to add ear hooks. Oh, did I use both pairs of those ear hooks already? I think I did. So. Um, a couple more earring hooks. Ear wires. Uh, these are actually... I believe French style ear hooks. Don't ask me why, why they're called that way. Um, I don't honestly know right off the top of my head. I would have to look it up on Google. So, but you gotta love Google. These closed up. I may have to fix these charms. They may be oriented the wrong way. Let's take a look here. 
Yeah, those are definitely oriented the wrong way. Grab this and just bend it this way. Let's take a look here. There. There, see? Now it's oriented the right way. Oh, intermission. Hi. Hello. Sorry about that. Just had to take a brief break for a second. So in the meantime, I did get these all fixed up. As you can see, I think these silver beads, silver crystal beads, went really well with the candy cane charms. Take a look there. So... So yeah, I think for today, I think I'm going to be done, um, but I hope you join me Friday for whatever I make, um, whether it's cards or more jewelry. Uh, yeah, so I hope you had a good time. Have a great week, everyone, and I'll see you on Friday.